Hello everybody and welcome back to my vlog, to my channel. Now today I'm going to take another look at one of these red boards but the difference is now is I have been and bought all of the components needed to build one of these and determine whether we can succeed or not. With it, if we use all of genuine parts and um, without the hassle of thinking, does this work properly? Does that work properly? Because I'll tell you now, I, f I found, um, I'm just trying to see if I can see it on here, but I can't see it here, pretty. Oh, yes, I can. Is this the one? Yeah, there it is. That doesn't even work. That didn't actually work as a resistor on one of them, so uh, that didn't help me at all. I didn't find that out until I'd um, put a meter across it and realised that there was no conductivity at all through there. So yeah, we got everything. Um, these are the um, IN 4148s. There's a lot of them in there, but they're pretty cheap. Oh, they are very cheap actually, 100 didn't cost very much at all, but all these are within 1%. The only differences I've made to the components is that I've used um, the 220 arts because they get quite hot. I've used um, higher rated ones. Now I managed to get a bunch of these, um, i take it out. These are genuine ST. You can see that on there, but trust me, they're genuine. These are the 822s, the 822s. Uh, we're not going to have the same issue with the resistors because these are genuine. Everything, everything's good. So, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to build up the board. Everything's within 1%. And uh, we're going to see what we got. And all these caps, these caps, I think Panasonic, no, these are Nichicon. There's some more caps. Let's rectify uh, well, We've got some other caps there, Panasonic. No, I got uh, for the big one, for the. Um, 300, uh, the 3,500 microfarad, 50 volts, I've got Chemicon for those. Uh, they're the same size, so slightly bigger, uh, but they will fit on the board because I measured first. Um, and yeah, these, these caps, these caps here are Panasonic, as you can see. Um, right, so that's it, so what I'm gonna do then. Like I say, these are all the new parts and this old bunch down on the floor beside me now. These are our uh, TL081s, Texas Instruments. There's 18 of them in here. Uh, 18 only allows me to do, uh, well, there's three aboard. That's uh, six, isn't it? Six boards, and I've got six boards. And I just want to see if I can get them to work. And if I can get them to work, I'll probably stick them on eBay or something and uh, see if people want to buy working boards. All right, I'll come back to you as soon as I've built one of these up and we'll give it a go. Okay, so now we've got this built up. Uh, there are a few bits I didn't change on here because I didn't have them. Uh, and that's these little capacitors here, these ceramics, and there's one here as well, there's one here. And the 33 ohm down here, and the 82 ohm here, and a 2K2 at the back, which is this one watt um, resistor here. So I didn't get those, but there it is, builds up anyway, and what we wanna do is we wanna see. Now, I have tested, um, I thought it through, and I did it anyway. Um, I tested the, these are the genuine uh, ST, 
Uh, there's a few of them, I think there's like four that I've, I'm the fourth one. So the one in here is the fourth, I've blown out three of them. And I blew out three of them on the short circuit test. Now, I don't think it's fair doing the short circuit test. It quite clearly stipulates within the actual write-up for this particular circuit that the transformer is your current regulator. Let me just turn it on while this is going because what I want to see is in the background is I just want to be able to see this settle. Oh, quick little look, everything looks okay. Uh, we're on 4.5 volts there, 4.45. I'm just going to turn that down to zero and in the background we're just going to see this thing bring itself down to pretty much zero. It takes a few minutes to warm up this, but let me go back to the transformer side of things. It's very important, the transformer in this circuit. This circuit isn't a hash together. This seems to be very well thought through on what works and how it works. And if you were to go and read the uh, how this works part of this circuit, you'll understand what I mean. And the transformer is a very important part the transformer is to ensure that you don't go above the three amps, regardless of you can stick one half a dozen of pass transistors on if you like. The whole idea is you don't go past the three amps because if you want it to work the way it says, um, you know, the, the way it's supposed to work, is you want the transformer to govern that current. So what I don't have is a transformer that goes, governs the current. In actual fact, this is the smaller one from the up there that it's not there now but on top of there if you saw in the last video you saw one of these built up into a box and this is the smaller transformer taken out of there and this is still five amps on the current way too much so when i do short circuits at full power not at the partial power so i can build up set my current to you know 300 milliamps or one amp or whatever it is i want to set it to it's fine but if I just hit it across a short circuit, full current turned up, full voltage turned up, it pops the transistor every time. And with the cheap pass transistor, or the the fake pan, you know, it's the fake, if there is, you know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I'm not a transistorologist, and no, but I've got a funny feeling these probably won't be up to par with the original. Um, with this in there, it pops this and this transistor. With a juicier transistor on there, like I've got that, uh, what's it, the 5200 or the 2500, yeah, the Toshiba thing. Um, it doesn't pop this, but it pops this every time. But I, I told myself that I know that. I know with the current um, not being regulated by the transformer, that's going to happen because it's not supposed to go over the three amps. So that's that's out of the way. Now what we want to know now is we can see it. Look, we've settled. So over a few minutes, this is settled to zero. So it just goes to show it. Needs a little bit of time to warm up to get into it's settled because uh, I'd already tuned this into it being settled. What we want to see now is if we can get the full voltage out of it. Uh, so we're gonna turn it up here. Bum, bum, bum. So we got 29.6, 29.72, 29.65. There's gonna be a variation because, well, you'd hope so. This costs about three pounds and that's more expensive. So you'd hope one would be better quality than the other. Um, but that's good enough. All right, so we got 29.7 volts. So that's good enough. Now I'm gonna turn that back down again. And what we wanna see now is can we get, it reckons, 90 watts, right? So that's what we want to see if we can get out of it, 90 watts. So I'm just going to, for the sake, I'm just going to turn the power off for a second. And I'll disconnect that. Disconnect. Disconnect that. Turn off to save my battery. And we're going to put an 8 ohm load onto it. Why 8 ohms? Because it works better. Because I've got a 10 ohm load, which... It's good, but unfortunately it's only 10 watts. But I've only got this 8 ohm load, which is uh, 100 watts. So I'm going to put that on. And um, what we want to see now is we want to see that we get... It's all right, I'm just looking for a calculator, but it's all right, I'll just sort that out in a minute. So I'm going to turn this current up. Oh, it is on full anyway. And now we're going to turn the voltage up. 
All right, now we're going to see what we get on our current voltage. Make sure you can see that. Yep, let's start turning it up. There we go. So let's say we got the voltages back off slightly. So we got a 26.5 and 3.23. So let's do a quick thing on the calculator. 26.5 times 3.23 equals 85.595. Now, if you remember when this was done before um, with the 8 ohm load, I think we were getting about 14 volts at 1.7 amps. It was coming in rubbish. It wasn't doing us any good at all. It was just dropping down on the voltage. So I'm going to call that a winner. There uh, doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the circuit itself, the way it's laid out, it's fine. I mean, I'd gone through that and gone through it anyway, and I couldn't find any differences apart from the way this was, uh, this voltage regulator uh, was set out. And everything else is just about the same. So that's it. So the queries on this, is this a bad circuit, a bad board? No, it's fine. The problem is the components that come in the kit. Now maybe you've been one of the lucky ones and your components are fine, it's doing for you what it's uh, set out to do. But you can't really do the test on this unless you are putting 24 volt AC into this. And that's um, positive 12 and a negative 12 24 volt. You can't do um, a sort of evaluation does it work correctly unless you're putting that voltage in because that's the specified voltage if you try changing the way this was supposed to be um, set out and built up then you're not doing it uh, you're not going to get the results that uh, you're, you're trying to find when it's doing doing correctly in regards to the op amps and the 36 volts coming in uh, once it's lost a little tiny bit remember you may have uh, 36 volts or something on a dc conversion but you're going to lose a bit through diodes and yeah. uh, but even so then those op amps can operate at those everything's fine you may have um, this here this is a oh what am i looking at now that's right that 220 there gets a bit warm I put in a uh, half watt. I think mean, my one there. Uh, let me zoom in straight. I just see now. You see that there? It's just slightly sat above the board, just to uh, let it help cool. Because I did notice that was getting a little bit warm, but it does it on all the boards. Um, but apart from that, yeah, it's fine. So that's what I'd say is the fix for this. It's not a case of uh, what's wrong with the board. It's a case of which components work, which components don't work so well. And if you go and get a bunch of components from a proper store, put it in, it works fine. Right, that's it. And actually, that, that's it for this. Doesn't have to be this one anymore. The only time I'll probably do another one of this is if I do two of them in together, tie them in together and have it as a uh, positive negative power supply. But until that point, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you've uh, learned some. I hope you can get your boards working. Right, bye-bye.